Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be prepping the rest of the crushed ammonites. I know I said I was doing that last week but we're doing it for real this week. So I've got over 10 smaller sort of pieces to work on. Some need no work, just paraloid, some need a little bit of work. Um, but I'll swap, uh, swap? Um, flip my camera over so you guys can have a look at all the different pieces. There's quite a range and you won't believe it guys. There is a not an ammonite fossil. <laughs> that made no sense. So it's this little bivalve I believe. So it's going to just focus on my face. Let me remove myself from the camera. I love. Are you going to focus? Am I still in the frame? Wait, if I tap the screen. Oh, look at that. So it's just this really cute little shell and I this looks like it's got its original shell intact as well. So we're going to paraloid this one. It's now not going to focus on my face, is it? There we go. <laughs> I'm still cameras and me, like one day I'll I'll learn, but it's fine for now. <laughs> but yeah, so I'll just paraloid this one up and it can just be like a little shell nugget. You know, I just thought it was cute. Right, let's flip my camera over, have a look at what we're doing. So this is what we're working with. So this one in the corner is a really cute little one, which I think with a nice coat of paraloid will just look lovely and then we've got a double one here i think i need to do a little bit of cleaning up on this one but then hopefully the little one will look a bit bit better i think the shell is actually under there so we will find out with that one now this one i love i love how the layers of the rock kind of swirl around it and that i didn't even like that's literally how it came out like it's so delicate i'm trying to show you that like underneath the ammonite is nothing it is just the ammonite so the sea literally prepped this one for me and it was just waiting there and it was just perfect these two need a bit of work i need to flick off some excess layers but they're very fragile these are paper thin so hopefully i won't destroy them but uh it's a high possibility then this is the sweet little bivalve you've already seen it's nice to have something different <laughs> but it hopefully it'll turn out lovely now this is quite a worn ammonite but i'm intrigued to see how it looks in paraloid i think it's got some nice colors there so we will see this is a very worn ammonite but i'm just gonna put paraloid on it anyway because why not this is a look there's literally a triplet triplets of ammonite is it gonna focus for you guys there you go so there's just a trio there then there's a really cute little one. I don't know how I got this back from the beach without it breaking, but somehow I did. This is so delicate. It's literally like paper thin again. And then we've got this one up here. Now, I love the shape of this one. It kind of looks like a rocket. So um, hopefully I can clean this one up nicely because you've got a big one and a little one. And I just think that will be such a cool piece. Then we've got this lovely piece here, which should be quite a quick prep. Then we've got this little guy might look nice with some paraloid on an even smaller little guy and then i think this one the it's actually in three pieces so you can see i think that one's had it i thought i had all the pieces but it's not complete and i think i've got some nicer ones here that definitely beat that one by a lot so i think that one will go decorate my garden but um you can still have a look nonetheless <laughs> So I'm going to start with this one. Now I think this one just needs a nice brush just to clean it up. I'm not going to risk doing anything to this one because it is so delicate. I just don't want the paraloid to secure in any sand. I think it's pretty clean though. So that's it brushed. So we're just going to shake up the paraloid. Now which brush to use? I've got so much choice. They've all been used a little bit, so some are quite hard. So, oh, that wasn't meant to happen. I did, these are my old paint brushes um, because I didn't want to destroy them, but I probably, I didn't want to destroy my nice ones, I meant. That just completely didn't make any sense what I said. <laughs> right, let's use, well, I don't know. I'm going to use this one. So just mix it around a little bit like that and I'm gonna let it drop on first like that now this is actually not looking very nice when it's got paraloid on it normally I put it on and all these colors come out this just kind of looks meh but let's not judge it until it's all done 
It's all a trial and error with this stuff. I'm new to it all, so... Well, I'm new to the prep game. I think it's starting to look nicer. Now that I've done all of it, I think I like it. <laughs> but it is reversible if I don't. Oh, did I go over? The problem when you talk in prep. Don't talk in prep, guys. Because I don't want to get any on the rock around because it goes shiny. But I am going to put some on the underside of this fossil. But I'll let this one dry first. Just to give it a bit more strength. Okay, we'll call it, we'll call it there for that one, so if I, ta-da, that's what this one looks like. Is it going to focus for you guys? So I think that's turned out, that actually looks quite lovely in the rock. I'm quite chuffed with that, so we'll just let that one go back down. Now we'll move on to this little guy. So I don't think this one needs much of a brush, but we'll just brush it anyway. Just to make sure now I'm just going to... Hold it close to the jar and drop it on. So this one was already very worn, so I don't know if this one's gonna look very nice when it's wet, when it's well when it's varnished. I can't actually see it anymore. <laughs> I can't tell if that's better or worse, but I mean probably worse. So we'll just leave that one. We will leave it. Let's try this one next. So, let's make sure you guys are in focus. I, my goal with this one is to make the shell line stand out more. But it did look nice just as a, as a pebble. I think I'm getting paraloid happy here. Just putting it on everything. Oh, it's getting sticky. Don't do that. So that's what this guy looks like now. I actually don't think that helped it at all. So I'll probably remove the paraloid from that one. But you got to trial and error. Now let's brush this one away slightly. We have the triplets. Now these are going to be a very delicate prep, so we're just going to literally drop it on. Because one drop is like the size of the ammonite. Ta-da! That was a very easy prep. So it just looks like that. I think that looks quite sweet. Right, should we try this mess of an ammonite next? Now I don't, this is going to, this probably won't make it look any better. But it might do. Ah, I don't know guys, look at the colour of that. So this is like a bit of a whole ammonite. And I just thought maybe, maybe, maybe it will look cool with varnish. I just painted my hand. Okie doke. That's how this one's looking. It's kind of a cool piece, I think. I think it looks quite intriguing. So I'm going to move the ones I've done to the back and move the new ones forward. So, Okay, so this one, I don't think there's much prep I can do on it. But it's not as white as I'd like it to be. But I think it's... We're just going to paraloid it up. Because these have, it's been about three weeks now since I found these and I don't want to risk 
them dying on me before I've had a chance to prep them. So I can always reverse this, but I just need to put it on to keep the shell in one piece. And I think with it on, it actually looks more, more rich, the white, so let's have a go. just like that so it looks quite quite dark but I think it I think it has a cool effect actually so I like that one and that's turned out well now what one should we do next should we do this one okay so that's how that one looks Mm -hmm. Now with Paraloid and these specimens, I don't really have a choice to put it on them or not because without it they would be way too fragile. So I, I think it works better on some than others and unfortunately that's just what I've got to go with. But I'm going to do this one next. Yeah, I think more often than not if the specimen's in good shape, the Paraloid actually helps make it look... Oh, are you joking me? <laughs> Oh, okay. Interesting. I can always glue it back onto its original spot, but let's try and clear it up first. Okay, so I've pretty much prepped it as much as I can, um, but it looks like this, so you can see the shell's really nicely preserved in it. I'm now going to super glue it back onto its original rock, like that, just to give it a bit more support, I think, and I think that looks quite nice like that, so I'm going to do that. So I thought I was going to super glue it onto this until that happened, so this is just too weak in itself, and I don't think... I mean, I could still put it like that, but I think I'm just going to paraloid um, the Amnite as it is, and then I can always stick it onto something at a later date, um, just so it, I think it looks quite nice on its own, and I don't want to ruin it by super gluing it onto something, because super glue isn't as reversible as paraloid, so... Rip. <laughs> I broke it, guys! I don't know where the edge piece went. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Right, we're gonna stick it now onto that. So let's just super glue away so we make sure it's. that on that rock like that okay. and then we just need to do the edge piece
like that. Okay. So this is what it looks like. Just like that. So I'm about to run out of battery and space on my camera right now so I'm gonna call it there I think I've done quite a lot of the pieces there's only about three left so I'll do those ones maybe in the next video but for now I think I'm gonna call it a day but um, I really do hope you enjoyed this video some have turned out really amazing and I mean I saved that last one can't believe I dropped it on the floor it's just a <laughs> nightmare but I think this one's turned out really nice so I'm really chuffed with that. I really like that piece. Um, and then I also really like this one. I think that looks beautiful as well. And then the very last piece, but I think it still turned out pretty amazing considering what I put it through. Um, so I might break off that bit there and then it can sit kind of like that or however. Um, so yeah, not bad, and there's a few that, you know, this one hasn't turned out amazing, my little pebble, um, but it hasn't turned out terrible, I mean, it, it's cute, I'm just going to leave it as it is, and then this little guy as well, not really anything special unfortunately, there wasn't any shell to really like shine through, um, but I guess that's just, just how it goes, and I've got to say I quite like this piece. <laughs> It might just be like a kind of pebbly piece, but it hasn't turned out that shabby. I kind of like it. I'm just showing you them all now because I feel like if I don't show you one, it will be sad not being seen. So the trio came out quite nice as well. And then the last piece I did, this little one, which again, I think has turned out really lovely. So not bad. I think I'm getting better at using the Paraloid. Um, there really is no science to it I'm just trial trial and erroring it but I think that's the best way to learn sometimes um but I hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments what you thought of the pieces I did I will flip my camera around after just so you can have a last glance at them all but I'll link my Instagram and Twitter down below if you'd like to check that out but um thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time so as promised these are the ones I have done so I know I did show you them all but it might just be easier for you to see it like this so this one really hasn't come out very well but quite a few of them look amazing like I love this one I love this one and I love this one so overall I'm very chuffed and then these ones over here will have to stay for another time because my camera is saying enough's enough so thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you next time bye